Time to have arrived on Monday, March 17th, 7 o'clock Finance Committee meeting. I call to order, Councilors, before we uh, start the agenda, a couple things. Uh, first of all, happy St. Patrick's Day to each and everyone here in attendance and those watching on TV. The Mayor hosted a great, great event today at 11 o'clock City Hall Chamber, and it was followed by a 12 o'clock event to the Council on Aging. And uh, again, the Irish have done a lot for the City of Brockton. As a matter of fact, they, they helped construct this building that we're in here right now. So I want to, uh, I want to thank everybody of Irish uh, origin. And if you're not Irish, you are today. Remember that. Also want to congratulate uh, Cardinal Spellman High School boys basketball team, Division One state, uh, Division Three state champions. So we can give them a round of applause. On a, uh, on, on a sad note, our uh, our colleague Michael Healy uh, suddenly passed last last week, and, and it's fitting because he was a great Irishman. Uh, he's being waked uh, today over at Waits. Uh, so if we could please. Uh, take a moment. He was, again, a, a great public servant uh, representing Ward 6, and he's uh, leaving behind his, his wife and his two daughters. If we could just take a moment of silence, please. May Michael rest in peace. Yeah, amen. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Madam Clerk. Appointment Marlene Amity of 47 Herod Ave, Brockton to the Brockton Council on Aging for a three-year term end in March 2017. Invited Marlene Amity. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing okay. Do you uh, have any statement you want to make? Or? Um, not really. Okay. <laughs> All right. Motion to approve. Second. Second. On, on the motion, Council Rodriguez. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to, to take a, a second or so just to congratulate Marlene for um, a job well done with that event yesterday at Tambu. That's right. Thank uh, you. It was a great night, uh, a great initiative on your part, especially, and uh, it's something that we look forward to, and I hope that the uh, Haitian community will embrace that organization and move it forward for the good of the city of Brockton. Thank, Thank you, you so Mr. much. Thank, Thank you. you. And if th those that have not gone to Tambu, it's like Newbury Street or South Beach or, Man or, or Manhattan Definitely. here in the city of Definitely. Brockton. Chris Charlotte and his family has just done <coughs> a yeoman's work. So if you haven't been there, please go. And uh, if you have, go again. And thank you again for last night. There's been a motion, uh, properly second in favor of recommendation to the full city council. All in favor of that, all opposed, that motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank have you. A good evening. Uh, Madam Clerk, number two, please. Appointment Christopher J. Koska of 12 Montello Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Historical Commission for a three year term ended in March 2017. Invited Christopher J. Koska. Good evening, Chris. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for joining us here tonight. Do you have a statement you want to make? Uh, just Brockton has a great history, and I hope I can help keep it alive for future gener generations. Great, thank you. Move to return to the full city council, favorable. Second. Okay. Motion's been made, it's been properly <coughs> seconded. It's a favorable recommendation back to the full city council. All in favor of that, all opposed, that motion carries. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Madam Clerk, number three, please. Appointment Mary Beth O'Brien, 95 McGowan Ave. Brockton to the Brockton Historic District Commission for a three-year term and in March 2017 invited Mary Beth O'Brien. Ms. O'Brien, good evening. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Tonight? Good, thank you. Thanks for being here. Motion to approve. Do you have a Second. statement? Oh, aren't you nice? Do you have a statement you want to make? <laughs> he says that to all the girls. <laughs> There's a motion made. Was it seconded? <clears throat> Second. Yes. It was made okay. properly seconded. It's a favorable President. recommendation back to the full city council. On the motion. On the motion. Stud. Ms. O'Brien, do you believe in Santa Claus? Of course I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, it's St. Paddy's Day. Do you believe in leprechauns? <laughs> Motion's been made properly seconded. It's a favorable recommendation back to the full city council. All in favor, please raise your hand. All oppose that motion carries. Thank you, Hello. Ms. O'Brien. <laughs> Number four, Madam Clerk. Appointment David Zaff of 11 Huntington Place, Apartment 11, Brockton to the Brockton Co Conservation Commission for a three year term and in March 2017. Invited David Zaff. Mr. Zaff, good evening. Good evening. Thanks for being here tonight. Do you have a, a statement you want to make? No. Nope. Entertain some uh, questions or a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Second. It's, been made. it's been properly seconded. It's a favorable recommendation, Council? Yes. yes. Back to the full city council. All in favor of that motion? All opposed, that motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you very good much. Good evening, sir. Madam Clerk, we're on uh, number five, please. <coughs> Appointment Maria Harris of 22 Michelle Lane, Brockton, to the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three-year term and in March 2017. Invited Maria Harris. Good evening, Ms. Harris. Hello. How are you tonight? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Any statement you want to make? No, just thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate Motion it. Motion to approve. Second. Second. <laughs> made se and properly seconded. It's a favorable recommendation. Back to the full city council. All in favor? Please raise your hand. All opposed? That motion carries. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good evening. Number six, please. 
appointment Paul Marion of 20 Bassett Road, Brockton, as an alternate to the Brockton License Commission for a three-year term and in March 2017. Invited Paul Marion. Mr. Marion, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Do you have a statement, sir? No. As you know, my brother, it can be a little long-winded up here, so yeah, I'm just he going to keep it yeah, yeah. <laughs> Motion to approve. Second. <laughs> Probably like you better. Short and sweet. Motion to made for properly second in favor of recommendation back to the <clears throat> city council. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Marion. Uh, number seven and number eight councillors, I've been notified uh, uh, Ms. Lally and Ms. Clegg couldn't join us here tonight. These are both reappointments. They've served the city so well for many years and volunteers. I just want to let you know that. Number seven, please. <coughs> yeah. Never mind. Read Not it. Reappointment, <laughs> Lorraine Lally of 52 Co Country Club Lane, Brockton, to the Brockton Council on Aging for a three-year term and in March 2017. Invited, Lorraine Lally. Entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Motion's been made. Properly second for the reappointment. It's a favorable recommendation. Back to the full city council. Please raise your hand if you're in favor. Please raise your hand if you're opposed. That motion carries. Reappointment. Uh, it's a favorable recommendation. Back to the full city council. Number eight, please. Reappointment. Irene Clegg of 179 Bellevue Ave. Brockton to the Brockton Council on Aging for a three-year term and in March 2017. Invited Irene Clegg. Entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Motion's been made. Properly second. And reappointment is a favorable recommendation. Back to the full city council for Ms. Clegg. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed. That motion carries. Favorable recommendation. Back to the full city council for reappointment. Madam Clerk. Number nine, please. Order appropriation of $3,500 from the National Association of Country and City Health Officials, NACHO, Department of Health and Humane Services Grant Fund, to City of Brockton Board of Health Medical Reserves Corp Grant Fund for the purpose of building the level of volunteers and equipment for local medical reserve corps. Invited Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter, John A. Condon, Chief Financial Officer, Louis Tartaglia, Jr., Executive Director of Health Department. Councilors, uh, point of information, I was informed Mr. Tartaglia unfortunately couldn't join us here tonight, but he wanted me to, uh, first of all, wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day and just inform you that he wishes he could, but he couldn't tonight. Mr. Connor, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Councilors, this is an annual grant, and uh, it's used every year, as the uh, order says, to build the volunteer corps of uh, medical volunteers. The money is used uh, primarily for a coordinator's uh, salary and stipend for $1,800, a couple hundred dollars for uh, postage and uh, for training materials, $1,200 goes to uh, recruitment uh, orientation and uh, sheltering and food for the uh, volunteers, and finally, there's $300 for brochures. Total oh, second. 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 Motion's been made, properly <clears throat> second, a favorable recommendation. Uh, back to the full city council. All in favor of that, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Mr. Conner. Number uh, 10, Madam Clerk. Order, transfer. $8,850 from Traffic Commission Ordinary Maintenance Public Safety to Traffic Commission Personal Services Overtime in order to correct and continue making payments previously paid out of the incorrect ordinary maintenance line item to public safety, to public safety, public property employees during work for the Traffic Commission. Invited Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter, John A. Condon, Chief Financial Officer, Captain Robert DeBerry, Traffic Commissioner. Okay, councilors, this is to correct a uh, budgeting and accounting error. Uh, this service used to be paid for by an outside company. Uh, this year they started paying for it by using public property employees, and because they're city employees, the payment has to be made out of an overtime account, not an ordinary maintenance account. Just moves the money around to allow it to be properly accounted Move for. Move to approve. Second. second. <coughs> Motion's been made. It's been properly seconded. It's a favorable <laughs> recommendation back to the full city council. Raise your hand if you're in favor of that motion. Raise your hand if you oppose that motion. That motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Councilors. Corner. Uh, Madam Clerk, number 11, please. Order. Appropriation of funds up to 750000 in excess of amounts already appropriated and in addition to the amount of $1 million previously authorized under MGL Chapter 44, 31D by City Council for deficit spending in February 2014 for DPW Highway snow removal for the purpose of 2000, fiscal year 2014 snow removal in accordance with Chapter 44, Section 31D of the Massachusetts General Laws. Invited Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter. John A. Condon, Chief Financial Officer, and Michael Thorson, DPW Commissioner. Uh, Councilors, uh, the Commissioner is here as well, but this is my, mainly a financial action, so I'll, I'll try to explain it for you. Uh, basically, when we submitted this request, it was at the beginning of March. At that point, we weren't certain what the level of snowfall would be for the remainder of the month of March, and maybe even into April. And at the time we submitted it, we had expended about almost $3.2 million for snow removal. We had an initial budget of a little bit over $2.3 million, and you gave us expenditure authority for deficit spending for an additional million. So at the beginning of March, we were within $200,000 of that amount of money. 
and we thought it would be prudent to come to the City Council for this request for an additional 750000 It's deficit spending. It would be, if it's approved, the total amount of deficit spending authorized would be 1750000 Obviously, if it doesn't snow, we won't be spending it. Councilors, any questions for the CFO? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Motion has been made. It's been properly seconded. It's a favorable recommendation. Uh, back to the full City Council. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Conner. Uh, Madam Clerk, if you could read number 12, please. Order that the City Council hereby establishes the application fee required by the ordinance to be $1,500, regulating the locations of medical marijuana cultivation, harvesting, dispensing, and other related activities as, follow, as allowed by Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Invited John A. Condon, Chief Financial Officer, Philip Nazarella, City Solicitor, Robert Hayden, Interim Police Chief, Richard Francis, Fire Chief, James Caseri, Superintendent of Building. Uh, Councilors, I uh, am going to entertain a motion to continue. Reason being is uh, I spoke to Chief Francis earlier uh, last week, and he informed me that he is going to a, a chief symposium on the 24th of this month up at the Stowe Barracks. Uh, and this is one of the issues that all the chiefs in the Commonwealth that attend that symposium are going to talk about. So I thought it would be appropriate. I did inform uh, uh, Chief of Staff Buckley to please inform Mr. Hayden not to be here tonight. I spoke to Mr. Casseri, told him not to be here tonight, and uh, Mr. Nezzarella as well. So I entertain a motion, motion to, to postpone. Today. Second. Motion to postpone. Continue uh, to the uh, next FinCom. Uh, motion was made properly. Second. All in favor of that? All opposed. That motion is going to carry. Councilors, two, two more uh, pieces of information. A anything else, Councilors, before us before we adjourn? Two points of uh, information. Again, I wanted to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. Go out there tonight and uh, celebrate, but be safe. And remember, the city of Brockton uh, was made up of immigrants, not just the Irish. It was the Italians and the Swedes and the Lithuanians and the Polish and uh, it's the Cape Verdeans and the Haitians. That's what our community is about. But today it's to celebrate uh, the establishment that the Irish did here in the city of Brockton from law enforcement, again, police and fire. Uh, look at the names of the people that perished 73 years ago at the Strand. Most of those Irish surnames were there. Uh, remember the educators here in the city of Brockton that were Irish that have done so much. And again, the, the people that have done a lot politically. Um, Tom Kennedy mentioned, uh, our state senator mentioned that his family uh, comes from Ballyhanas and my family comes from Ballyhanas and it's a tiny little village up in the west of uh, County Mayo in Ireland. There's a lot of people, believe it or not, that came here from that tiny little town. And there's families such as the Cribbins and the Hunts and the Lyonses and the Waldrons and the Fitzmorrises and the Herberts and the Hopkins. And why do they come to the city of Champions, the city of Brockton, to work in the factories? And we see the new wave of immigrants. So today is a, is a day to celebrate the Irish. And we're going to have a lot more celebrations. And I just want to wish each and every one of you a happy, happy St. Patrick's Day. And on a sad note, I'm going to ask you to uh, please remember a, a proud Brock Brocktonian that passed away suddenly on Friday night. A lot of you aren't going to know this name, Kevin Lyons, but Kevin Lyons was a Brockton High graduate. He passed away at the age of 38 last Friday, suddenly. He was a track star at Brockton High. He lived in Ward 1 and Ward 2. He was my first cousin, and I'm going to miss him dearly, but he served the city of Brockton very well, and people are going to say how. He worked for UPS for 20 years, and he went to so many businesses in the city of Brockton. He's left by uh, Frank Lyons, Barbara Lyons, and Mark Lyons. I'm going to ask you, please, out of respect for him, if we could take a moment of silence. May you rest in peace. Thank you very much. Anything else before us tonight? This motion's adjourned. Amen. Who may owe? It's got to be a record.